property experts who are focused on securing your data and privacy. Azure itself has more certifications than any other cloud provider, and Azure AD manages more than 1.2 billion identities and processes billions of authentications every day. Some of the security benefits of Azure AD include the ability to create and manage a single identity for each user across your hybrid enterprise, keeping users, groups, and devices in sync. You can also provide single sign-on access to your applications, including thousands of pre-integrated SaaS apps. You can also enable application access security by enforcing rules-based multi-factor authentication for both your on-premises and cloud applications. And you can provision secure remote access to on-premises web applications through Azure AD application proxy. Azure AD is a complete identity solution. Microsoft Identity and Access Management Solutions help IT protect access to applications and resources across the corporate data center and into the cloud, enabling additional levels of validation, such as multi-factor authentication and conditional access policies. Monitoring suspicious activity through advanced security reporting, auditing, and alerting helps you mitigate potential security issues. And Azure Active Directory Premium provides single sign-on to thousands of cloud apps and access to web apps that you run on premises. And finally, Azure AD is also an open and interoperable identity and access management solution with SDKs for partners to integrate with and support for modern industry standard authentication and authorization protocols. The Microsoft Identity Platform supports several of the most widely used authentication and authorization protocols. Just to reiterate, Azure AD is covering identity end-to-end, -end, both authentication and authorization, and there is a difference between the two. Authentication is the process of proving you are who you say you are, and authorization is the act of granting an authenticated party permission to do something. It specifies what data you're allowed to access and what you can do with that data. Sometimes there's confusion when we start talking about all these standards. For example, maybe you've heard of OAuth 2 as an authentication protocol. In fact, OAuth is an authorization protocol, but it does integrate with OpenID Connect as an authentication protocol. So you want to leverage and consume identity providers that support all of the modern authentication and authorization methods that are used by your applications. Across the stack from authentication to authorization, Azure AD offers access to these industry standard protocols. Azure AD also includes support for SAML 2.0, which enables applications to provide a single sign-on experience to their end users. And it's not just for Microsoft services. Remember, open and interoperable. This means you can leverage a Azure AD as your cloud-based identity and access management solution and integrate with your standards compliant identity provider of choice, including Okta, Oracle IDM, Ping Federate, Shibboleth, and many others for authentication. All of Microsoft's modern clients, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, even the Azure front end are built on OpenID Connect and OAuth. On any given day, 96 to 98% of the authentication traffic that's driven through Azure AD is performed through OpenID Connect and OAuth 2. Azure AD also supports passwordless with support for FIDO2 security keys. And finally, all of the APIs for Azure AD are RESTful services that adhere to the OData4 standard. Microsoft Azure Active Directory is a cloud identity service that provides secure access to over 250 million monthly active users, connecting over 1.4 million unique applications and processing over 30 billion daily authentication requests. This makes Azure AD not only the largest enterprise identity and access management solution, but easily one of the world's largest identity systems. Engineering a service of this scale, complexity, and mission criticality to be highly available in a world where everything we build on can and does fail is a complex task, and Microsoft has made Azure AD into a service you can depend on as you transition to Azure and Microsoft Online Services. 
Azure AD is a global service with multiple levels of internal redundancy and automatic recoverability. It is deployed in over 30 data centers around the world, leveraging Azure availability zones where present, and this number is growing rapidly as additional Azure regions are deployed. For durability, any piece of data written to Azure AD is replicated to at least four and up to 13 data centers, depending on your tenant's configuration. Within each data center, data is again replicated at least nine times for durability, but also to scale out capacity to serve authentication load. To illustrate, this means that at any point in time, there are at least 36 copies of your directory data available within the service in even the smallest region. For durability, writes to Azure AD are not completed until a successful commit to an out of region data center. For our conversation today, we'll be using the following topics to frame everything up around Azure AD. How do we get identities into the directory is one of the first questions we need to answer. The next one is, how do we integrate all of our apps and resources? Once we have that in place, what needs to be done to put up guardrails around identity and govern the service and the users within it? And of course, if we're putting all of our apps and service authentication into Microsoft's hands, it needs to not only be highly available, as I mentioned earlier, but also highly secure. Let's start with managing all of your identities in the cloud. One of the core tenants from Microsoft is that they want to provide us as customers, a complete integrated solution to not only allow us to manage our identities, but also to do it with ease while remaining secure. When we consider the breadth and depth of Azure AD as an identity and access management solution, it really is an industry leader. For three years in a row, Gartner has positioned Microsoft in the leader's quadrant of their magic quadrant for access management based on their completeness of vision and ability to execute in the access management market. We've already talked a little about authentication and authorization, but I'd like to call out how you can enforce the core principle of zero trust. Never trust, always verify with Azure AD. You can set conditional access policies based on the user, location, device, and application to determine whether access should be allowed, limited, or blocked to any application that authenticates with Azure AD, including Office 365, Dynamics, the Azure Management Plane, including the Azure Portal, and even third-party apps through the SaaS gallery. For administrators, Azure AD offers user group and device management, a single pane of glass, and provides features for governance of those entities, including built-in access reviews, entitlement management, and all of the reporting and analytics you need to operate. For users, Azure AD has features such as My Apps, which offer one-stop shopping for users to gain access to all of their applications that authenticate through Azure AD that they're authorized for. There are also self-management features such as self-service password reset, which make it not only easier for users to perform common tasks, but also potentially ease the burden on your help desk for common issues that surround user accounts such as lockouts and application access. As you can see from the features listed here, Azure AD is an integrated solution that can meet all of your needs. You don't need to duct tape everything together on your own as Microsoft has done the heavy lifting for you. As Azure AD has matured, Microsoft has added cloud provisioning integrations with common human resource systems such as Workday, Oracle Human Capital Management, and SAP SuccessFactors. If you're already managing the metadata for your users in one of these systems, you can provision users from the HCM into both Azure AD and your on-premises Active Directory with provisioning connector apps. This cloud-to-cloud -cloud connected cloud provisioning engine can provision more than 70 plus user attributes depending on the source HCM. This gives you a way to automate your whole join, move, or leave process that is entirely cloud-based without all of the overhead of having to wire up and connect disparate systems yourself. And Microsoft isn't stopping with just these systems. They're building an open endpoint and plan to have integrations with more systems in the future. Azure AD also supports the SKIM standard for user provisioning. 
Skim can be used to provision users to other external cloud apps, such as Workplace by Facebook and Slack. Azure AD also has an open Skim endpoint, so that service or application you have that wants to be a Skim client can be used to provision users back to on-premises. Next, let's dive into Cloud Connect provisioning. Azure AD Connect Cloud Provisioning is a new Microsoft agent that's designed to meet and accomplish your high identity goals, synchronization of users, groups, and contacts to Azure AD. It can be used alongside Azure AD Connect Sync, and it provides a number of benefits, including support for synchronizing to an Azure AD tenant from a multi-forest disconnected Active Directory forest environment. Common scenarios for this include mergers and acquisitions where the acquired company's AD forests are isolated from the parent company's AD forests and companies that have historically had multiple AD forests. It also brings simplified installation with lightweight provisioning agents that act as a bridge from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory with all of this sync configuration managed directly in the cloud. And finally, it has multiple provisioning agents, which can be used to simplify high availability deployments, particularly critical for any organization that's relying upon password hash synchronization from Active Directory to Azure AD. With Azure AD Connect Cloud Provisioning, provisioning from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory is orchestrated in Microsoft Online Services. Your organization only needs to deploy in your on-premises and IaaS hosted environment, a lightweight agent that acts as a bridge between Azure AD and AD. The provisioning configuration is stored in Azure Active Directory and it's managed directly as a part of the service. Now let's discuss how you can easily connect all of your applications to Azure. As of October 2019, there are over 1.4 million applications configured in Azure AD across all tenants that have authenticated users. Only a small portion of authentications are ultimately for Office 365 and Azure in Azure AD. Most authentications in the service are actually for custom applications that customers have built. This explosion in active applications and authentications through these configured applications represents more than 100% year-over-year growth. When you're thinking about the applications in your portfolio, this means that Azure AD can be used to manage authentication to not just your Microsoft estate, but your entire estate. You can now protect your on-premises and cloud legacy authentication applications by connecting them to Azure AD with your existing application delivery controller or network. This way, you can bridge the gap and strengthen your security posture across all applications with Azure AD capabilities like conditional access and identity protection. Using your existing networking and delivery controller, you can easily protect and expose legacy applications that are still critical to your business processes, but that you couldn't protect before with Azure AD. It's likely you have everything you need to start protecting these applications. The following vendors offer pre-built solutions and detailed guidance for integrating with Azure AD. Akamai Enterprise Application Access, Citrix Application Delivery Controller, F5 Big IP APM, and Zscaler Private Access. This feature is a great complement to Azure AD App Proxy and extends the coverage for the types of applications that you can protect with Azure AD and native features like conditional access. Azure Active Directory has a gallery that contains thousands of pre-integrated applications that are enabled with enterprise single sign-on and help integrate your cloud-enabled software as a service, or SaaS applications, with Azure AD. Microsoft have developed a collection of tutorials that can walk you through configuration for the majority of them as well. 
If you browse to aadappgallery.azurewebsites.net, you can also filter and sort all of the apps in the app gallery by apps that support federated SSO with automatic user provisioning, apps that support federated SSO and consent, apps that support federated SSO only, and apps that support password SSO only. For the full list of applications available within the app gallery, I encourage you to visit the Azure Marketplace. Let's take a look at a quick demo of the new My Apps experience, which is available at myapplications.microsoft.com. Microsoft has reimagined the My Apps experience. My Apps is the one place where your users can go and access all of the applications they have access to, whether it's on premises or SaaS. The updated version of My Apps includes a feature called Workspaces. Workspaces enable you to create filtered views of the apps that users have access to so they can quickly get to the apps they're looking for without having to scroll through a list of their applications. Users can also browse through the app launcher and browse their workspaces in office.com. So for your users that use office.com to consume your enterprise apps, their consumption becomes much easier. Next, let's talk about how you can govern access for all of your users using identity governance and entitlement management. These are only two features that contribute to the Azure AD governance story, and there's certainly more that you'll want to explore as you implement Azure AD. Governance with cloud identity is a journey, and it's something that never really ends. So you'll want to make sure that you put in a solid foundation and you continue to revisit your configuration over time, especially as new features are added to Azure AD. Azure AD Identity Governance allows you to balance your organization's need for security and employee productivity with the right processes and visibility. It provides you with capabilities to ensure that the right people have the right access to the right resources. These and related Azure AD and enterprise mobility and security features allow you to mitigate access risk by protecting, monitoring, and auditing access to critical assets all while ensuring employee and business partner productivity. Identity governance gives your organization the ability to do a number of tasks across employees, business partners, and vendors, and across services and applications, both on premises and in the cloud. You can govern the identity lifecycle, govern the access lifecycle, and provide secured privileged access for administration. Specifically, Identity governance is intended to help your organizations address these four key questions. Which users should have access to which resources? What are those users doing with that access? Are there effective organizational controls in place for managing access? And can auditors verify that the controls are working? Identity governance is all about helping you find a balance between productivity, how quickly can a person have access to the resources they need, such as when they join my organization, and security. How should their access change over time, such as due to changes to that person's employment status? Azure AD Entitlement Management is an identity governance feature that enables your organization to manage identity and access lifecycle at scale by automating access request workflows, access assignments, reviews, and expiration. Your employees need access to various groups, applications, and sites to perform their jobs. Managing this access is challenging as requirements change. New applications are added or users need additional access rights. This scenario gets more complicated when you collaborate with outside organizations. You may not know who in the other organization needs access to your organization's resources, and they won't know what applications, groups, or sites your organization is using. Azure AD Entitlement Management can help you more efficiently manage access to groups, applications, and SharePoint Online sites for internal users and also for those external users outside your organization who need to access those resources. 
Some of the key capabilities of entitlement management include delegation to non-administrators of the ability to create access packages. These access packages contain resources that users can request and the delegated access package managers can define policies with rules for which users can request, who must approve their access, and when that access expires. Another key capability is selecting connected organizations whose users can request access. When a user who is not yet in your directory requests access and is approved, they're automatically invited into your directory and assigned access. When their access expires, if they have no other access package assignments, their B2B account in your directory can automatically be removed. Now let's talk about some of the security benefits of Azure AD. Multi-factor authentication or MFA is a great way to secure your organization, but users often get frustrated with the additional security layer on top of having to remember their passwords. Passwordless authentication methods are more convenient because the password is removed and replaced with something you have plus something you are or something you know. Every organization has different needs when it comes to authentication, and Microsoft recognizes that. They offer three passwordless authentication options that integrate with Azure AD. Windows Hello for Business is ideal for information workers who have their own designated Windows PC. The biometric and PIN is directly tied to the user's PC, which prevents access from anyone other than the owner. The Microsoft Authenticator app allows your employee's phone to become a passwordless authentication method. You may already be using the Microsoft Authenticator app as a convenient multi-factor authentication option in addition to a password. You can also use the Authenticator app as a passwordless option. And finally, FIDO2 security keys are an unfishable standards-based passwordless authentication method that can come in any form factor. Fast Identity Online, or FIDO, is an open standard for passwordless authentication. FIDO allows users and your organizations to leverage the standard to sign into your resources without a username or password using an external security key or a platform key built directly into the device. Identity protection is a tool that allows your organization to accomplish three key tasks. Automating the detection and remediation of identity-based risks, investigating risks using data in the portal, and exporting risk detection data to third-party utilities for further analysis. Identity protection uses the learnings Microsoft has acquired from their position in organizations with Azure AD, the consumer space with Microsoft accounts, and in gaming with Xbox to protect their users. Microsoft analyzes 6.5 trillion signals per day to identify and protect their customers, all of us from threats. That equates to over 171 terabytes of data that's being processed. That data is used to form risk detections. Risk detections in Azure AD identity protection include any identified suspicious actions related to user accounts in your entire directory. The signals that are generated by and fed to identity protection can be further fed into tools like conditional access to make access to decisions or fed back to a security information and event management or SIM tool for further investigation based on your organization's enforced policies. One of the challenges with deploying a conditional access policy in many organizations is determining its impact to end users. It can be difficult to anticipate the number and names of users impacted by a common deployment initiative such as blocking legacy authentication, requiring multi-factor authentication for a population of users, or implementing sign-in risk policies with identity protection. Report only mode is a new conditional access policy state that allows your identity administrators to evaluate the impact of conditional access policies before enabling them in their environment. 
With the release of report only mode, conditional access policies can be enabled in report only mode. And during sign in, policies in report only mode are evaluated, but they're not enforced. The results are logged in the conditional access and report only tabs of the sign in log details. And customers with an Azure Monitor subscription can monitor the impact of their conditional access policies using the Conditional Access Insights Workbook. Today, the following capabilities are now generally available in identity protection. An intuitive and integrated user experience. Under a new dedicated security menu, the refresh